Nathan, congratulations. That was a hard fought win. Just try and sum up what the last 20 minutes has been like. Uh, horrific. Uh, hated every second of it. Um, but nah, you, you know, I've got to give credit to, to Bo first and foremost. She was the, the name in the in pot four that no one wanted, and I was watching the draw with Dobes, and I said, Fallon and Bo were left. Oh dear. And then I got Bo. But um, now, nah, listen, she's a credit to the women's game. She's a credit credit to darts in in a hole. Um, she put me through the ringer tonight, and. Um, my condolences go out to Damon and Ricardo because <laughs> I'm English and I was getting stick tonight and he's German and Australian so uh, they might get a bit of stick the next couple of days but now nah, she was fantastic and just very happy to scrape a, scrape a 98 finish and, and get the win. Look, you said that you knew it was going to be tough. Was it tougher than you were expecting yeah. though? Yeah, I played Fallon last year and you know Fallon didn't play as well as Bo did. Um, <laughs> she outscored me to death, didn't she? To be fair to her, <laughs> um, yeah, I was constantly under the pressure, and you know she was playing well on her throw, but she struggled on my throw, and I, and I picked that up, and I thought if I can have one good leg on her throw, this is mine, and I did, and then I missed what six, seven darts, a double, and then I think one fell out, um, and in my head I'm thinking it's just not meant to be, and then I, then it kicked off the next leg, and one fell out the treble, and a 180. I thought, yeah, I'm not winning this, but. Uh, no, I do what I do, and I dug deep and battled to the end. And my little girl who's with me, I kept her and her shout, "Come on, Daddy, please don't lose!" And uh, that thing that got me over the line. You're normally fans' favourite, but out there, obviously, Bo was the darling. Was that tough to deal with? Yeah, it's, it's something I'm not used to. I think you see me in Australia. <laughs> you know, I'm not used to it. But now, to be fair to him, they, they weren't that bad until obviously the crucial time, which is obviously what happens. But now they pay the money, they pay my way, so they can do what they want. To be fair. Nice, well, congratulations. Good mate, thank you. Nathan, just describe the emotion when you saw that double 19 drop. You saw your gesture and the new shake in there. At the end. I've, honestly, God, like even when I first started playing darts. That was probably that leg was the most nervous leg of darts I've ever played, and I'm not even exaggerating. Like, wow, um, I'm just I'm, I'm just snatching, I'm closing my eyes, I'm just praying to God to go in, and uh, you know, kicked off quite strong in that leg, and uh, yeah, she struggled, um, but you know, I can't say enough credit to Bob. <laughs> Tell us about your preparation. We've been practicing with Michael Smith. How's that been going? Yeah, I, you know what, I might get rid of him and start practicing with Bo, to be quite honest with you. <laughs> nah, my, it's been great, you know, we put our heads together, going into the Grand Prix, my prep was absolutely pants. Um, you know, I didn't practice, yeah, it's my own fault, and, um, you know, put my head together, I've got no excuses now, I can't say I've, I've got a new house, all this, that and the other, everything's perfect now, so, you know, I thought Michael P was struggling, I said, we, we need to get our heads together and, you know, we're better than this. And we've been practicing and we're doing four hours a day for the last three weeks. And listen, if you could be a, if you could be a fly on our practice session, with pants at finishing, but one eight is it's unbelievable. But uh, now it's, it, it's come on wonders for me. I think you've seen it tonight. You know that was a 98 under a lot of pressure. Um, you know Michael, I'm expecting good things off him this this week, and you know hopefully I beat him in the final this year. Do you feel in a good place to do something really special over the next couple of weeks? Yeah, I do. I think uh, you know anyone that plays at the top top level of any sport, you kind of know where you're at. And going into like the Grand Prix, for example, I knew I wasn't. I wasn't in that tournament, and but now I put the prep in. I feel good. I feel relaxed. Um, you know, I've had a bit, bit of time off. Um, I feel good. I feel feel like I can have a good week uh, in Wolverhampton. Nathan, yeah. I think you knew the crowd would be tough on you in this match. Was this the hardest match on paper when you saw the draw? Um, yeah, I think so. Um, you know, if, if ever, anyone that plays a lady is going to be going to be tough. But the thing is, they don't need to do that. The crowd because. They don't need the crowd to boo the other players because they're good enough. They're, they're here for a reason, you know what I mean? They're fantastic dart players, and it doesn't matter whether you're female, or male. Bo is mega at that, you know what I mean? She's a fantastic dart player. So, you know, I think it's. I don't know. Is it disrespectful for them for them to be booing me so much when I'm playing her? She doesn't need them to be putting me off for her to beat me. She can beat me. She's a fantastic dart player. Um, but I'm just happy. You know, I'm happy I won first and foremost, but. No, I'm happy that I had a tough game and, you know, I think Bo shown the world what a fantastic dad player she is today. There was a few tough moments as well with the bounce out of crucial moments, but does that show the grit that you have and the determination that you can get past those and still get the victory in, in a tough atmosphere as well as those bounce outs? Yeah, 100%. You know, that was a tough game today. Um, <laughs> it's not just really, that was a very hard game, but, you know, I left myself at 98. Um, I think she left herself 68, 62 or something. 78. 78, you know, that, you know, in your head you've got to think that's going. 98 is a pretty poo finish, to be honest. Because if you hit the treble 28, you've got double 19. No one likes double 19. 
and I blocked it a little bit and moved over. But I think again, I showed this afternoon that you know what I'm capable of. Yeah, it wasn't my best performance, but I dug into the end. Whatever was thrown at me, I managed to find a win. And you know, James Wade's made a career of finding a way to win. So you know, I won't mind being a few quid behind him. You've mentioned a few times now that you've not been in the best of form since the World Match Play. So is this almost a perfect tournament where you've got a few matches to almost play yourself into form and then it goes to a long format? Uh, no. <laughs> My problem is if you don't practice, I'm, I can't say, but I'm pants. <laughs> you know what I mean? If I don't practice, I'm rubbish. And I know that, so why don't I practice all the time? You know, life gets in the way sometimes, but I put the hours in over the last three, three or four weeks. Um, I'm in a, the best space I've been in probably since the match play. Um, you know, my life's been a bit of a whirlwind the last three or four months. Um, I, I've kind of everything settled now, and you know, it, no, it, the multiple games ha happen because obviously it's stage practice kind of thing. But no, I'll get through the group, and then you know, when it's a longer format, when I play my game, there's not many people in the world that can beat me, and uh, you know, hopefully, I get that opportunity to, to play the longer games. Cheers, Nathan. Well done. Team. Hi. And we saw how the crowd reacted to you then. Do the players feel an added pressure from playing against the world? Yeah, 100%. Um, they shouldn't do because they're as good as us, you know what I mean? But yeah, you do. And I think I think the reason you get the added pressure is because if I lose that game, I'm getting absolutely abused on social media for the next week. <laughs> you know what I mean? And um, you know, it shouldn't be like that because she's a fantastic dart player, uh, as is Fallon. Um, but yeah, it, it is added pressure. And you know, everyone likes the underdog. I've been an underdog all my career, you know what I mean? And everyone likes the underdog story. A woman playing playing me, world number six, is an underdog, and uh, you know it is hard. The pressure's on me. There's no pressure on her, but you know I did the job today, just <laughs> and got the win. Um, I think it was leg seven when you missed the three doubles. I think it was eight. More than three, mate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, how did you think that was it at that point? Um, I just didn't think it was my day, um, yeah. especially because I think the leg after had a bounce out on a 180. Uh, in my head, I'm thinking, you know, get the violins out. I'm not winning this game, but uh, nah, I, I, I dug deep and uh, I took a fantastic night out, which it was a great shot in the end under that pressure. Yeah. Um, and obviously, you now put against if you win or if you come second against Group G. How do you fancy your chances against the likes of Van Gogh and Sherrick, uh, Rob Cross? I beat him before, haven't I? <laughs> yeah. I, don't care, I don't care. I get through the group. Listen, it's first to ten. Rob Cross, Van Gogh, and Fallon. <laughs> I play him every week, so it, it makes no odds. Names mean nothing. Thank you. Cheers.